Hey guys, this is the cool kid and today I'm going to show you how to make a virus which looks like a setup of a game. Have you ever wanted to just take <coughs> I'm sorry. Have you ever wanted to just take revenge from your friend who has done something to you by just destroying his PC, laptop, whatever? So, if you have then you are at the right person's place. So, the things you are going to need is a bat to exe converter. I will put the link of all the things in my description. So, and you need hex editor neo and the document file that I'm going to upload uh, and the link will be in the description and of course notepad. So, let's just start and I'm going to tell you that the first thing you need to know is that you First, uh, uh, for example, you are giving your friend the pen drive, your pen drive for the game. So there are two options. One that is that your pen drive should be totally, totally um, formatted, and the second option is that you make the file in the pen drive only. So I'm going to make the file in the pen drive only because that is more better option. So I have a Deadpool game and for example I want to give the Deadpool game to my friend. So I am just going to rename the folder to dead I'm sorry pool the game. So this is the basic name of any game. So I'm just going to get inside the folder and now the main thing I that I have to do is just right click and go to the new and make a text document now change the name to setup and just press enter now go inside the setup file uh, I mean the text file and just go to the document file that I have provided you so this document file will be very helpful for your <coughs> virus making so first of all there are many viruses inside this document file so you have to select that what do you want to do with your friend so there are some non dangerous viruses and there are some vi dangerous viruses so I won't prefer you to use them on your PC laptop etc because I won't be responsible for anything so let's just get into it so for example I want to give him a virus that just crashes his PC forever not forever uh, so this one is the best one because the easy formatter just does uh, delete the whole thing in just 5 seconds so I'm just going to just copy the code and this much is the code only so I'm just going to copy and go into the setup.txt and paste now just press a backspace because there is uh, one line so this much is the code and now you have to just go into the file and save as ok so you need to save this as the bat file because that's how a virus will work and save type as into all document all files so now you are ready and many genius many genius says think that they are the genius one but not so what I mean to say is that they just go to the right uh, they just go to the edit and they see the uh, they see the coding of the BAT file and that's so easy that a, a a child can also see that so we need to do is that just change it to exe file and for that we need the bat to exe converter so there's a link in the description and you can download this it's a freeware so you just go to the bat to exe converter and in the batch file just browse and go to wherever your bad file is now just open it and you don't need to do anything in the first two things 
So now here's the options for your exe file. Now if we are making a game setup then we should not touch any of these and just see that uh, your friend's PC laptop is a 32 bit or 64 bit. So for <coughs> so if it's a 64 bit then just go to the 64 one and if it's a 32 so 32. So now I'm just going to the 32 bit because I think most of the people have 32 bit uh, 32 bit and I'm going to test this in the school that's why. So now we don't need to do anything in the include. Uh, because I also don't know what to do with this. So in the in the third one, that is the version information. You don't if you want to make it look like an official one. You just tick box, tick this box, and just write the fake company name, product name, internal name. I don't know what is internal name. So and the description and copyright. So I am just making a fun. So I'm just going to write something foolish. So I'm just writing the company's name as what the uh, traders. So this is the name and we just write the product name as you have been up. So if anyone checks the version information and all then he she would get a shock. By the way their PC won't be alive until they check. So I'm just going to copy this in the every box. There's no need of writing this all if you don't want to become uh, if you don't make if you don't want to make it official looking so I'm just going so he, here's the icon file and this is the most important thing because no almost no um, setup file is without almost no setup file is without icon file so I'm just going to the change I'm going to change the icon file so this is a Deadpool game so I'm just going I have downloaded the Deadpool low uh, Deadpool icon so if you are making another game just like Minecraft I have this one too so basically you just have to go to the iconarchive.com or any other any other websites so you can just go to the google also and search for for example you have an iron man game so you just search for iron man icon and all that so we don't need to do anything in the editor and in the program settings just just go to the english I and mean, click the english if you want or any other so nothing much more is there so now just click on compile so it is done now just delete the setup.bat because it's not it's of no use now so now we can see that the setup has been ready but what the no game is of 278 kb unless it's of mario Okay, so anyone can see that it's 278 KB and that's not a game. So we have to fake the files of this um, game, which is actually the virus. So just go to the new and make a blank text file. You don't need to have, you don't need to do anything and just change the name to um, most most of them have data on let's just change it to some official one the one dot no just don't put any extensions so now here's the data one and to make it look more official just go to another one and make another one so Data. So now we can see that it's looking like more official, but still there's one problem, and that is that it's still of 278 KB. 
So now I'm just going to the um, folder and as many of you have seen the setup is a small file and the datas are very large files that is the main file of the game. So I have the real game here and it is not necessary to have the real game because you just need to have the file I mean the what do we call that? the information of that game if if it is a game and if it is a program then it's more easier so here the game is 7.99 GB and I'm going to split 7.99 GB into three no not two parts so because um, 7.99 I don't think so it will split. Let's just go to the calculator. So 7.99 divided by 2. So this is 3.99 GB of both the both the data files because uh, this point zero zero five is going to be the no, that's not good. Okay, let's just change. So now the now the main part comes and that is the hex new editor. I mean hex editor new. This is also a freeware and its link will be in the description box. So now just take the data one and drag it to new editor. So you can see that many things are here. You don't have to touch any of them and just go to the edit and change file size. Now it's selected on GB and you can change it, but I am taking GB. So I'm taking and changing it to 3.99 GB. <coughs> so it has been changed and now click on the save button. So it would take some time because it is just changing the it is just changing the size of the file if it isn't too. So it will take time. I'll just skip. So it's complete and I'm just going to do the same for the another one. So I'm just going to, we just did the data one. So I'm going to do the data too. Just drag here, and uh, um, so this is the data too, and I'm just deleting this one. Okay. So now do the same. Go to the edit, change file size, and 3.99. I'm the I'm doing the 3.99 because I want to split the 7.99 into half, and I have made some calculations and. I think it may be right or not exact we don't want the exact number so it's okay now doing the same now I'm going to save so the last one took 15 minutes and I don't know how much time is this one also going to take so I'm just going to skip again so it's complete now and the both both of the files have been <coughs> completed and now you can see that the whole deadpool folder is now 7.97 gb so now only 0 0.02 gb has to be there so i'm just going to change the setup file into 0 0.02 gb doing the same for every single file 0 0.02 GB and I think that's much now saving so this is also done and now we can see that the game is now 7.99 GB so finally we have the exact game but it is not the game so you just now have to do one thing and that is just give this pen drive to your friend and he she would copy this 
and try to open the exe file but he's or she's pc would die and by die i mean their windows will be deleted and every single file on their pc will be deleted because this is the dangerous virus it deletes the d e and f so i think that is the end of the video and if you want to know more about the viruses in this document file um, just make a comment below and and nothing else so like subscribe and don't blame it on me seriously thanks for watching